you know, this is the Crown Prince's second trip to the United States. Um, I think that he's had a good meeting with President Trump. Uh, you know, I, I'm very impressed with what the uh, the royal family is doing in in their strategic positioning and their strategic narrative uh, about specifically Vision 2030, which is the big uh, Crown Prince initiative. Um, but you know, this is a blended trip. It's it's partly um, government relations to come over to meet with our government to talk about where they are and what they're doing. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, the Yemen situation is um, a hot war now. And um, you know it's unpopular here in the United States. It's unpopular in the Congress. And so it's important um, that, that the Crown Prince do his politics, uh, both talking to members of the Congress and uh, in the administration. Uh, additionally, there's a very big commercial trip. Uh, they're visiting five or six cities, including San Francisco, California, Los Angeles, and uh, a lot of that is very commercial. Obviously, the royal family has the sovereign fund, the vision fund, uh, and they're very big investors. Um, and they are in consortia that are now big investors in Uber and many other California companies. So for me, it's very exciting to have them come to California. I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, seeing parts of the of the group while uh, they're in California next week. And you know, this is really, I think, um, a, a big departure from the royal family to be coming out and talking in such a comprehensive way about both the national security issues and the economic security issues that we know here at the Atlantic Council are very dovetailed and that are very much part of um, the diplomacy that the uh, royal family from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia have to project, um, but also the, the collaboration that we've had. It's an 85-year relationship. It's one of our key um, strategic bilateral uh, national security relationships in the Middle East. Uh, it's a very strong one over both Democratic and Republican administrations. So um, there's a lot going on, a lot of change here in Washington. And uh, so I think it's important that he come. And you know, it's important for people to see him. You know, I think their investment strategy is much more sophisticated than it's actually been. So, you know, um, the Crown Prince has been very clear that the royal family and the country want to diversify away from petrochemicals. They want to diversify into a much more broader base, including um, modern technology. Uh, they want to invest in modern technology in the, in the country. Uh, women are going to be driving. Um, obviously, they've got a hundred thousand um, citizens going to school here in the United States. Uh, so education has become very important. Uh, when we were in Riyadh in January uh, for the Atlantic Council trip, it was very interesting to see um, how the Crown Prince is modernizing uh, communities and, and taking down the barriers so that women are more integrated, um, women are going to uh, sports games, um, families are going to the movies, there's a huge investment in entertainment to modernize uh, the Saudi Arabian population, you know, bring them forward. Uh, so all of the elements of, of education, the cultural issues, the integration issues, they're moving forward on. They're also looking at investment not only internally in, in Saudi Arabia but externally. There's an old thing from my days on Wall Street where it's obvious that people like to visit their money. And so part of what they're doing when they come here on the commercial side of the trip is to talk to different companies, uh, both as angel investors and as VC investors and then as public company investors. Um, but they also want to encourage money to come into the country. So it's that, it's that back and forth. Um, it's a much more sophisticated, much more diversified uh, there are many challenges to it, of course, and uh, it, you know it's important that you have a sense of the ability to govern both in the country, but also from the corporation governance part of it, and and they're working to become more sophisticated that way.
So when I was in the Congress, I advocated for the uh, UAE one two three agreement. I, I whipped votes for it. I voted for it, and then I had the uh, ability to sign it when I was Under Secretary of State a few months later for arms control. Um, so the UAE agreement has a as a provision. Some could say a loophole where if someone else in the region signs a, an agreement that doesn't have the very high threshold, what is called a gold standard, uh, on the inability to, to reprocess and very strong nonproliferation goals, um, that um, that agreement will, will actually mark to market to a new agreement. And so I'm very much uh, urging the Trump administration to hold the high standards of the um, UAE Gold Standard Agreement to make sure that no agreement with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia diminishes the nonproliferation agreements, no reprocessing, and um, and that you know that's the agreement that we do. Um, if we don't, then we lose not only the ability to hold the Saudis to those agreements, but we lose the ability to hold the UAE to that agreement, and that would be a huge mistake. Um, I'm very much interested in having civil nuclear technology from the U.S. be shared around the world, but it has to come with a strong 1-2-3 agreement, and it has to be one that would pass Congress. It would be a mistake for this administration to think that they could negotiate anything that diminishes the nonproliferation um, elements of the agreement in the UAE agreement for the Saudis and think it could pass the Congress. So um, I'm urging them to hold tight, um, get an agreement. We want to be able to uh, deal with the uh, exchange of civil nuclear technology from the U.S. around the world and the Saudis, but um, we have to hold the high nonproliferation elements of it, and we have to make sure that the nonproliferation treaty, of which we are a key signatory, those elements of nonproliferation and arms control are part of any 1-2-3 agreement. Well, you know, we, we know that the um, Sovereign Fund, the, uh, the Royal Family Sovereign Fund, and the other funds that they've created are invested in many of our California corporations. You know, we're, we're always looking to have a diversified base of investors. We also want, um, you know, smart people, well-educated people. A lot of, there are a lot of people from Saudi Arabia going to school in California. I'm a region of the University of California. We have 10 campuses, um, including Berkeley and UCLA, and we have a lot of uh, Saudi students going to school there, and we're very happy to see that. Um, but it's also about our economy. Uh, you know, Californians believe that we not only want a thriving economy, uh, but we want people to have fair wages. We want people to be able to afford to go to college, afford to buy a house. We want people to settle in California, but we also want clean air and clean water. And uh, we want to be on the leading edge of almost everything there is. Um, that's what we think of ourselves, and that's how well we think of ourselves in California. But it's an important part of um, the drive that we have. Uh, we think that a lot of things start in California and then move east to the rest of the country and then around the world. Uh, so, you know, there are, is a lot of opportunity. Obviously, in Los Angeles, a lot of the, the Crown Prince's visits are about energy and about um, entertainment. And then when it comes up to where I'm from in Silicon Valley, uh, a lot of it is about technology and innovation, engineering, um, and things like that. So, you know, we think it's, it's very important. We're, we're very happy to have their investments uh, and work with them. Uh, we're happy to have so many uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia students going to school in California. But uh, at the same time, you know, we believe that we, can, we have to have everything, and uh, we're not willing to compromise. And we think that those are the things that we want our investors to share.